Hello and welcome to our video on midpoint of a line segment. I've got another line here just like a previous video and I'm going to put two points on there and the type of question we're looking at would be asking us to find the exact halfway, the midpoint. So I'll just put that here. Midpoint equals halfway. So we could guess it by eye. It's about here. But what we're looking for is using the coordinates to find the exact midpoint. So again, if we label this one as x2, y2, with a comma in between, the two coordinate points, and this one can be x1, y1. Because we will need to just show over here the x value of this one will be, oh sorry that's y. The y value will be somewhere on the y axis. So the y values can be y1 and for this one can be y2. the x value x1 and for here x2. Now what we're looking to do is find the coordinates for the red point. So it's going to be some x value in between x1 and x2 and some y value here. So I'll just put that as an x and some y value for this example because we don't have numbers in this real example. So if we look at how we could actually get to this value, the x value will be down here and the y value is across here. And this x value will be exactly halfway between these two x values. So we could use for this point we could add these two together and divide by 2, which is the same as finding the, the average of the two numbers. x1 plus y1 divided by 2. And for the y value up here, we can add these two y values together and divide them by 2. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And there's our two coordinate points. That's exactly what I've written down here. So for a line joining two coordinates, x1, y1 and x2, y2, the midpoint, we use m to show the midpoint, is x1 plus x2 over 2. I just realised I made an error there. x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2. Make sure you correct that error in your notes as well. This is a correct formula. Comma y1 plus y2 over 2. So this is a kind of weird formula because it's got the comma in the middle of it. But it's because we're looking for the coordinate point in our solution. So the type of solution you'll get when you're asked for a midpoint, you will give an answer that looks like a coordinate point. So it'll have an X number and a Y number like that. Um, it's also reminding you here that these two is the average of the coordinates for the X axis and the Y axis for the two points. Below here, I've got an example with part A and part B. I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at these two. Um, just a quick reminder, when it says in terms of A and B, it means that your answer will have an A and a B in it. So make sure whatever answer you give has an A and a B in it. You don't need to simplify it further than that. Pause the video now and have a go at these two problems. Okay, let's have a look at a solution. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining this point and this point. So the A and the B are just parameters that are in the place of 
um, the coordinate points. So I'm going to start by writing our formula out that we're going to use. And to make it so that I don't make an error, I'm going to number these x1, y1, x2, y2, so I know which ones I'm substituting in. Now I need to substitute in x1 is 4, x2 is a, so 4 plus a divided by 2. It's our first coordinate point, comma. Y1 is 4 plus, oh, X1 is 1, not 4. Y1 is 4 and Y2 is B. 4 plus B over 2. And I'd be looking at this to see if I can simplify any of this. It does say in terms of A and B, and my solution has got A's and B's in it. Um, you could rewrite parts of this. You could do 4 divided by 2, but it's not really necessary. I would be tempted to just leave it like this. Part B. If 5, negative 1 is the midpoint, find the values of A and B. So I'm going to highlight what the question is actually asking me find the values of A and B, so when I can come back at the end and make sure I'm answering that question. So the midpoint is 5 comma negative 1, which is equal to 1 plus A over 2 comma 4 plus B over 2. Now I can say 5 is the X value, so equals this. 5 equals 1 plus a over 2. Keep solving to find out what a equals because that's what our question is asking us. 10 equals 1 plus a, 9 equals a. And to find b we need to make negative 1 equal this side. 4 plus b over 2. Negative 2 equals 4 plus b, negative 6 equals b, and then we can write out our final solution. a equals 9, b equals negative 6. Now I've written out my solution like this, definitely with a box around it, but I've written it out like this because the question says find the values of a and b. Um, if it asked you to find the midpoint, then you'd be writing it out as a coordinate point. So make sure you read the question carefully and you're actually answering what it's asking you to do. Thanks for watching the video.